Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, I just dropped my dad off this morning. I'm already back on a video already. Same day. Snapchat. I still get DMs. People are like, yo, make a new Snapchat, make a new Snapchat. And and I'm starting to realize like it was kind of making me a lazy motherfucker. I'm not gonna lie. Cause it was like in my head, I was justifying, oh yeah, I'm posting content, whatever. It was just too easy. And now I'm challenging myself. I'm not really, I've never really been a huge real guy, and but that's the only way to grow on Instagram. I've been posting more on reels, posting more on Instagram in general, more stories, more active over there. Um, and now I'm trying to be more consistent with YouTube again. When did I stop YouTube? It was when I started ripping Snapchat. And I know I'm really good at Snapchat. It's not even worth it to me because I'm starting this whole new, I don't know, I feel like I'm starting this new chapter in my content life. Tequila, dude, she keeps licking her suit. I don't know, someone tell me, is it okay if she licks her, she's 11 days post, post operation. I took her cone off today and she's been licking her, her incision, but there's no sutures there anymore. So I'm, maybe it's just like itchy, I, ho I hope. But yeah, it's freaking me out because the last thing I want is an infection right now with everything going around, happening right now. Snapchat, it's it's just, I don't know. I feel like it was kind of holding me back a little bit and I'm liking the direction that I'm going with YouTube and Instagram. So it's like, F it, dude, leave Snapchat. And it's a little less interactive with you guys, which I totally understand. You know, it was cool to be able to post replies. That is one thing that I 100% do miss, but you know, it is what it is. I hope you guys can understand, but that's that's what I'm feeling right now. Dude, so my management company, Path, AKA Harry, they hit me up and they were like, yo, you should be getting a package today from Bose. They sent you some headphones and I'm like, what? And they sent me some open ear headphones. I was gonna get these originally, but they were 300 bucks. And I was like, honestly, it was at the time where it was right when I started running. And I was like, honestly, I don't know how long I'll be running. Um, I don't wanna drop 300 on headphones. So I just got the $90 ones from the shock company. But look at these, dude. I don't really understand how they, is it like that? Oh, I see. It's more lower. Guys, next video is gonna be super sick. I think this video, I'm gonna just a chill vlog, but next video, my coach is coming into town who lives in Hawaii. So it's very, very rare that he does come into town, but he's coming. We're gonna go to the beach. We're gonna do swim. Dude, looks like I'm wearing, <laughs> that's pretty sick. We're gonna be doing a full swim bike run and I've never swam. Like I've swam before, but I've never swam like this. I think they gotta be off, which makes a little bit more sense. This is cool. The case is really nice. Like I said, I don't have to be doing this. I'm not getting paid to do this. It was nice of them to send it, so. Let's go. Okay, now they're paired up. Ooh. Wow. That's like too good. It's almost too good. Yo, compared to my, look, I'm not shitting on shocks. You know, I've used those ones a lot. These absolutely kill those. Like this is too loud. This is insane. It's too immersive. Like, it's like I'm wearing headphones. What's the point of this? Because if you play it too loud, you're just ruining the fact that you can't hear, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, I can't even hear myself think. Wow, that is insane. Like, I got it at this high. Look how high I got it. And that's like good. Obviously, if I'm outside, there's wind and shit. But yo, shout out to Bose. Thank you for sending that. If y'all watched last video, you guys saw that sourdough sandwich I made. This morning, I woke up and I had a fucking breakout of eczema. And I was thinking to myself, like, that's weird. I haven't had a, a real breakout in a while, like a long time. Probably since I started Animal Based. Because once, I, as soon as I started and I cut refined carbs, it slowly went away and I never had a breakout again. And then all of a sudden, this morning, um, I woke up and I had my blisters came back a little bit, itchiness. And I was like, wow, that's really weird. And I was watching a video of Paul Saladino and he had mentioned, you know, when I do these elimination diets and I incorporate some things, I'll have a flare up. Wait, cause he uh, suffers from eczema as well. It ringed in my head. I was like, bro, the sourdough, which sucks because sourdough is the bread is the bread that some people should be able to tolerate. Usually that's like the, the bread for people but I guess not for me, you know, everyone's different. I might try it again in like a week, just to be 100% certain, but yeah, very interesting. Got a little waterfall action going on right there. And then I wanted to show, I wanted to show you guys the TV, how it looks outside. Cause obviously it looks different at night versus during the day because it's, you know, sunny. Let's watch the new Young LA World video. Yeah, that looks really good. It doesn't really look good on camera. It kind of looks shitty, <laughs> but I promise you guys it looks good. And now it really looks bad. It looks good, trust me guys, it looks good. I'm surprised how good the um, the Sonos Beam is. It's like a $500 speaker. I didn't want to get an Arc because the Arc was going to be overboard and I'm really, really happy with the Beam. Check this out. 
back when I was elementary school, so probably, or middle school, I would say like 10, 12 years old? What's middle school age? 10, 12 years old? Look at this shit. I was longboarding. I used to longboard. I used to do like the sliding and shit. Dude, it's hard for me to talk because I can feel this gap in my mouth. I fucking hate this. Um, I was longboarding. I was carrying a big bow speaker. I was trying to slow down. I didn't want to drop the, spe it's the speaker because it would break. Dude, this fucking sucks. I can't even talk. I'm like, oh my God. Um, and it's also Friday, so I can't get this fixed anytime soon. Carrying this speaker on the longboard, I wanted to slow down, I couldn't slow down, and I went into the grass, I fell, because I'm carrying this speaker, and, this <laughs> and, it, and it went straight into my face as I was hitting the ground. Luckily, I spit it out and went to the thing, they glued it back on, not glue, but like cement or whatever the f they do, and they were like, yeah, eventually it's gonna come out and you're gonna need a root canal, and today was the day it came out. Let me see. Oh, I don't want to touch it because the, the nerve is... They're telling me I need a root canal because the nerve is exposed. Quite annoying because now that's going to fuck up my whole my whole plans because I don't want to smoke now because if you smoke with that, with something like this, you can. it's really easy to get... Um, what's it called? Is it gingivitis? I think it's gingivitis. They say like, don't smoke. That's what I'm dealing with now. But yeah, funny story. That's why I'm not really worried about it because I knew eventually one day it would, it would happen. It lasted longer than I thought. They told me a couple years. It's been 10 years. Probably even more actually you know 10 years hopefully we can get this fixed monday or i'll be in trouble how many of y'all have had plantain nighttime lighting shout out to my dad for putting these up this is green plantain cooked in butter cinnamon and salt this is what these look like. it's pretty much just like a really big banana um this one's not ripe yet despite it being super black it's not ripe and we're gonna put a little bit of honey on here just this tiny bit because it doesn't really need much but i'm a fat ass so eight grams of honey that ain't shit also my teeth my tooth is still broken it's not sensitive though so i'm thinking i might not need a root canal Maybe just like a little, um, what is, what is it called? Like a little crown or something? I have no idea. We'll see. It's still Friday, so. I was like talking to my neighbors outside and I was so embarrassed. I was smiling and shit and I was just like, oh yeah, that's crazy. You like doing one of these. Yeah, that's crazy. You can't fucking beat this. So tomorrow, waking up, I got an hour 45 bike ride that will be interesting. Fuck, that's so good. So good. The plantain's gotta be ripe though because it's not ripe, it's not gonna be sweet. So it needs to be Right, and then you get the butter and the fattiness and the crispiness from the from the cooking. I hope you guys had a good weekend whenever you're watching this. See you tomorrow. Good morning, friends. I just did a little morning walk, about a mile, mile and a quarter. I made it a goal of mine. I said it last night. I said, you know what? Tomorrow I'm gonna wake up early. I woke up at 6.30, didn't look at my phone. I think that's really important that something that I don't do enough is not looking at my phone as soon like as soon as i wake up i'm on my phone and i'm scrolling commenting looking back at dms whatever it may be so it's something i really want to work on because there are studies like you know fucking huberman talks about that shit but it just doesn't feel good in general despite what studies say and like i know there's some science to it but i don't want to just like bam my eyeballs with led blue lights as soon as i wake up you know so woke up didn't look at my phone took the dogs for a walk sunlight in the eyes didn't take my phone out there um, trying to wake up a little bit, didn't drink any coffee, and now I'm back. So now I'm gonna enjoy some coffee because I've been up for an hour and 15 minutes now. Yeah, but in the last video, we talked about the coffee in the morning thing. I think Huberman is also the one who was the person who was talking about it, but no coffee because your cortisol levels are already pretty high in the morning, so you don't really need any energy. Yeah, that's what he said. And also your caffeine, you have less of a crash and you you hold the energy longer for a longer period of time when you drink water and you hydrate with electrolytes beforehand. So when I woke up, electrolytes and water. I'm about to get into this hour 45 minute bike. To be honest, I'm not really looking forward to it. The bike lately has been kind of ass. We're gonna get right into it, baby. Let's go. It's Saturday, baby. Tiny sprinkle of salt. I know I kind of, I know I kind of look like a vegan, but this is my pre-bike pre, pre -bike meal. Literally no protein. 
Not by choice. I would honestly love to have some hard-boiled eggs, but I don't want a hard-boiled, I don't, I don't have any. And I'm not gonna like, I don't really feel like cooking it up real fast, but this is, looks delicious. This is the second time I've had this. This time I chopped it up and made it look nice for YouTube, but um, it's so good. It's so simple, so good. 266 calories, 68 grams of carbs. 47 grams of sugar, so a shit ton of sugar, but you know, I'm about to go on a ride. So this is blueberries, blackberries, banana, salt, and honey. You can't can go wrong with this for like a pre-workout meal, unreal. So I'm gonna slam this and we're gonna get into the, get into the bike. Let's go. I'm getting good at this. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little too good. All right, fellas, hour and a half in, we're at 18.78 miles. I'm not gonna lie, this ride was pretty ass. It's weird, I, like, the ride wasn't, it's not hard. You know, I still have 15 minutes. It's not hard, it's just like, I can't get comfortable on this bike today. Like, my the, my my butt hurts, my quads are pumped, my fucking arms, so I just can't get comfortable. I haven't been able to, like, sit, get in position. Like, I haven't been able to just, like, sit and lock in and pedal. I just have, just, that just hasn't happened today. And it sucks because I'm an hour and a half in. So, hour and a half, I've literally done, I haven't been locked in once. It is what it is. Heart rate 133 right now. But, the ride's been pretty normal. It's just fucking long and boring. And, yeah, like I said, I just can't get locked in. But, we're getting it done. 15 minutes left. Tooth is, it's doing okay. I was a little bit worried with, like, the breeze hitting it. But, I've had no issues. I'm on like the second to last climb of this ride. And this fucking guy, neon suit, neon shoes, neon glasses, probably 50 years old. Thin as a rock, thin as a rail. Probably 130 pounds. Zooms by me, bro. I'm struggling. I'm getting up this hill. I'm like, let's go, let's go. And I just hear, I, you know, I just hear the bikes, the bike things, you know? The, the what do you call it, the chains. I turn my left. My nemesis he pulls up next to me, looks at me with his with his highlighter, his highlighter glasses. It matches his whole fit, just like me. Just like you know, mine mine match too. He looks at me and he goes like that. Fucking dude, I, I'm looking at. It. He's so far away. That's insane to me. He's going crazy. That's the level I'm trying to get. Oh God, dude, my ass hurts so bad, so bad. I think I've showed you guys this already. I'm not sure, this is bacon fat. So my beef bacon that I cook, I take the grease and I put it in this jar that actually broke because it was so hot, it's cracked. This is pure bacon fat and I take it and I cook my eggs in it. So I t it's just like butter and it works really, really, really good. My eggs don't stick to my pan anymore. It smells like just fat and shit. So I'm about to eat breakfast and then we're gonna go to the gym, baby, let's go. A little Saturday weight session. All right, we're keeping it light today. Just five eggs and a little bit of tomato paste sweetened with dates, AKA ketchup. <laughs> but yeah, I decided I don't wanna eat more carbs. I will say though that when I was biking, I almost feel like I ate too many because the pump in my quads were, was just a little bit too, especially in the beginning because I think it was probably the honey because the honey just spikes your, the honey just goes straight into, I don't know the science behind it, but honey is like straight sugar, right? So it almost made me too pumped. It was like eating a Rice Krispie before a fucking chest day, you know? And I'm looking down, I got veins going down my quad. It's just not a good feeling. But towards the end, it started to wear off a little bit, which is really interesting. When you start doing this diet or you start eating like this, where you're so used to everything and there's no, there's nothing in there that's gonna hurt you. You can really start to realize how much, what food does what. Like I'm gonna eat this and feel this way. And I'm gonna eat, drink this honey or have this honey and it's gonna do this. You know, the other day I had sourdough and I, I broke out in eczema the other day. So it, it's really cool that when you're not, when you're really dialed in on your diet, you know exactly what's happening to your body as you eat it. It's fucking awesome. So I'm eating this, but I'm gonna be treating myself. I haven't had an energy drink since we did the photo shoot for this, which was probably a week and a half ago. You guys know I've been kind of staying away from this stuff because it is, it is artificially flavored, which it's not the best for us. If you're trying to be super into the whole natural food thing, whatever. So I don't drink it much. I don't drink much of these. This Rocket Pop flavor is fucking incredible. Um, this is coming out June 26th, I think it is. It's for like a 4th of July thing, obviously. It's really, really good. So I'm pumped to drink this. 
Dude, that's so good. Especially when I only drink water and black coffee and you get this fizzy tastiness. This flavor is unreal. This is what the industrial revolution needed, baby. Got a little back day, got my tripod set up like a true, like a true YouTuber. Look at this thing. Got a whole tripod in here because I got the big camera. Just give me doing a little uh, back day. It is Saturday, so it's a little bit crowded in here. So I'm just gonna bang it out real quick. Nothing too crazy. is finished i absolutely smashed my workout like excuse me i didn't look at my phone at all like barely any i think it's because there's people here and there's actually a little bit of atmosphere I'm not saying that i hate when it's empty but it's just a different vibe today barely looked at my phone like i said and i i killed my workout like smashed it 10 out of 10 couldn't ask for a better workout i'm gonna do buy i was gonna leave but i was like dude i feel so good and, and i look great i'm just gonna and get some biceps in. Yeah, I also told Madrid as I was training, I was like, yo, let's do this in rock music. Cause lately I've been on a rock kick and I feel like it fits the vibe a little bit better. Sorry if I've been doing that a lot. It's, it's like habit. I, I have to just be like, is it still, is it still fucked up? Obviously it's still fucked up. And it's gonna be fucked up for a while. And I'm like spinning more because like, so my mouth is moving a little bit differently. It's a little bit hard to get used to, but. Biceps. Mr. Dobrik, Mr. Dobrik's F8. That shit looks so clean. Unfortunately, I'm taking the F8 over the 911. I don't know about you guys. What would you take? <laughs> Yo, this is not an ad. This is actually what caused my tooth to fall out because these bars are like really chewy. This is not an ad. I ordered this, I paid for this myself. It's pretty expensive. It's like 40 bucks for a pack of, I think it was 12, so not cheap at all. It's like $6 a bar but no seed oils, Ooh, this is really good. Um, but it's so chewy that it literally is what pulled the chip part off my tooth. This is insane. J it's called Jacob Bar. If you're wondering what it looks like, it looks like a little hockey disc of goodness. There's like nine ingredients in it. Mm -mm -mm. 240 calories, 20 grams of protein, nine ingredients, ready? Grass fed whey. Organic honey, organic dates, grass-fed beef tallow, organic cacao chips, cocoa chips, organic cocoa nips, organic chocolate extract, sea salt, organic vanilla extract. It's just really chewy, that's the only thing. Tastes good though. Good morning, guys. It is Sunday, and I have an hour 40 run that, to be honest, I'm not looking forward to. I just went on a walk with the pups, and it was pretty, pretty hot. And an hour 40 is not a short time, so it's gonna probably be around Considering staying under like 140 heart rate, it's gonna probably be around eight to nine hour or miles, eight to nine miles, which, you know, 
It is a lot. So I'm fueling up right now about to, I just chugged a bunch of water, chugged a bunch of electrolytes. I'm gonna eat some berries and hit the road. I'll probably make a couple eggs too. But I don't, the thing is, is like if I eat, if I eat too heavy, I cramp, you know? And like in my abdomen, some, there's, I still haven't figured it out with like the eating before running thing because every time I do, I get this cramp under my, like here, like I just get some tightness. Every single time, I can't figure it out. Berries and stuff is fine, but it's only when it's like protein or fat, like eggs. Probably go light, like three eggs, 18 grams of protein, and then a bunch of berries and shit. And we'll, f we'll see how that goes. Wish me luck. I'm getting humbled bad. Cause it was hour, hour 40, so I'm like, you know what? Let me go into town where there's a little bit more hills. And I came out here. It's un unbelievably hot today. It's like 95 out. We're in a heat wave right now. I've just been getting fucked. Like even my like 13 minute pace is like 150 heart um, beats per minute. So I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm just gonna walk, you know? This is zone two work, you know? So even my coach was like, in the beginning, he was like, yo, if any of it's too hard, your heart rate's going high, just walk until your heart rate chills out and just do like periodic jogs and walks. And that's what I've been doing, which fucking sucks because I wanted to get like some actual distance in today, but I can't. It is what it is right now. We're at three and a half miles in 46 minutes. You know, that's like a 14, 14, 15 minute pace. That's where I'm at right now. Kind of sucks. Also not that big of a deal. Like I'm not running a marathon right now. So, you know, this is just another day of practicing. So sometimes it doesn't go your way and, th and that's all it is. But it's Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon. It's nice. Everyone's got their cars out. So it's just cool to be outside and enjoy the sun. I'm gonna get back to it. All right, guys, taking the dogs for a walk. I got tequila off leash. Hey, I got interrupted. Some girl was asking about tequila. I'm telling you guys, go shirtless. Walk your dog on a, on a weekend. It's too easy out here, even with a broken tooth. But yeah, I'm taking them. So I just finished my run. Ended up being like right around seven miles, an hour 43. Tequila, an hour 43. So not great, but it is what it is. But me and Madrid are about to go golf. So that's why I'm walking them immediately after my run because we're gonna be gone for a couple hours. So I want them to, you know, get a lot of energy out. Come on, this is their second walk of the day. But yeah, we've been doing off leash training for couple weeks now and she's been doing really good she hasn't had any notable like moments where i was like holy shit like trying to grab her and stuff so obviously i got the e-collar and stuff but i don't even really have to use it because she knows the commands pretty well if i just tell her no she comes right at my hip so but yeah i'm gonna end the video off here guys i hope you enjoyed it was just a really chill vlog i honestly really enjoyed it we did some lifting and running and whatnot so appreciate you guys watching next video will be cool because we'll be doing swim bike run and yeah we'll be back on schedule thanks for watching we got a young la drop june 25th with a bunch of cool shit code sushi on that baby i'm hyped let's get this backyard done summer's here if i can get in in august and september because here in la september is not the fall september is is the summer dude i'm not gonna lie milo for some reason loves to poop in bushes <laughs> and because it's the like i have my poop bag but because it's the bushes, I'd just be leaving that shit there. Because it's not anyone's yard. If it's someone's yard, then I'll pick it up. But we're on the street. Good job. We're on the street. And if he poops in a bush, it's like, that's good fertilizer, if you ask me. All right. See you on the next one.